And I, your sexy whiskers, and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. So in today's video, we are continuing our look at Kingdom Come Deliverance behind the scenes. In the last video, we looked at the edge of the map. I like that a lot of the roads just kind of end. <laughs> There's literally just cut off right there. I've got to say a massive thank you to everyone who viewed that video. You are all amazing. And the amount of comments and ideas we got from you guys was amazing. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some places that you're not exactly supposed to be seeing this early. But before that, I just want to fly Henry around. Whee! It really never gets old. So a majority of you wanted to see what Rovna looked like. And that is the first location we're going to be heading to today. Now you've got to remember, this is the start of the game. And currently, there have been no attacks on Bohemia. But as you may notice right now in the distance, Rovna is on fire. Now what they've done here is quite simple. Instead of having a perfect Rovna at the start of the game, they just use the assets that are used during the Skalid's escape. Also, I did have a comment asking me to go inside. There is absolutely nothing inside this building. Now, was I expecting anything in here? Well, not really, but it would have been cool if they put one of the existing church interiors in here, just in case you ended up finding a way in. But of course, it's never designed to be entered, so that kind of makes sense. So yeah, as you guys can see, the huts outside are completely burning. Also, there are no villagers in Rovna whatsoever. Now, we touched on this in a very old Sexy Biscuit video. I realized that you could only hear the civilians during the Scalit's escape sequence, but you couldn't see anyone. And that's because the developers just added a sound effect of people running away. As with most game development, it's a facade. And that's what I find most fascinating about it. So before we head to Townburg, I wanted to head back to Scalit. Because if you guys have played the Woman's Lot DLC, you know this is where Fritz and Matthew work. You head down here as Teresa, but you never come down here as Henry. So what are you expecting? Civilians, right? Well, not exactly. It turns out that there are already bandits here. <laughs> yeah, we're just supposed to assume that there are civilians here, but no, this place has actually already been taken over by bandits. Oh, that's interesting. They've actually escaped the boundaries of the mill, and now they're running around Scalids. I wonder if I could try and get them to go a bit further up here. Now, of course, Scalids is completely closed off. Uh, we're not supposed to leave here. Um, the only time we are able to leave here during the prologue is with Teresa in the Woman's Lot DLC, so that kind of makes sense. Something I always like to point out is that there's a chest uh, right down here that has a load of really good loot in it, so always try and get that chest there. So we're going to be heading to another two places in this video, uh, Townburg and Ratai. Now, Ratai could have its own separate video. There is a lot going on there, and I want to delve into that in a separate video, but we are going to look at one thing that absolutely blew my mind. So we're going to make our way through the same way that Henry travels on his horse after the Skalit's prologue. So we're going to come along here, and we should be approaching Townburg. We've got the uh, stonecutters here, and there seems to be people here already. One thing I do notice is when I fly over, everyone kind of spawns inside one another, which is really interesting because it's, I'm guessing they have one spawn point. And when Henry gets close enough, not to the point you'd ever see it, but when Henry gets to that point of initiating their spawn, they all just spawn in one place and then kind of divert outwards um, to do their jobs. Um, so that's basically how all of the AI seems to run in this game. So if I keep going up here, we will enter the outskirts of Townburg. Now, I've been asked to look at the raid on Townburg later in the game, and that is going to be its own separate video, because I want to kind of keep this in chronological order, um, and then we're going to work up throughout the end of the game. Um, so yeah, there are guards and everything guarding Townburg Town. Coming up here, of course, you've got the tavern, and they're all doing their business. You see there? Those three people came out of one place. Uh, as you guys can see, yeah, that's how AI seems to work in this game. It's kind of interesting because, of course, you'd never see that um, as Henry walking or running because that would have already been initiated before he even gets around the corner. Um, so it's kind of interesting how they do that. And here is Townburg Castle. Now, everything seems absolutely okay in here. There's not really anything that different 
for when you actually come here later on. We've also got Henry's room he stays in right here, um, so that's there before, of course, he comes here. You never really see these guys up this close. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I would spend hours giving them all voices. I swear that guy is just a bloody accountant called Dave. Hello, I'm Dave. I'm an accountant. Ah, uh, it's the small things that make me happy. So we've got Lady Stephanie. We've got, um, Robard or Bernard. I always get those two mixed up. Uh, also, we've got Divish here. He's just sat there like... Hello, I'm Divish. And that's Percy. Yeah, that's who that is. Uh, can we actually talk to them at this point? Hang on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back on the HUD. Lady Stephanie. Sir Robard. It is Robard. Uh, we've got Sir Divish. And no, we can't interact with them at all. Ah, oh, Lady Stephanie, in a couple of short hours you'll be meeting the love of your life. Hello. How's it going? I'm Henry. Bailiff of Biscuit Town. That's doesn't exist yet. Yeah, we're going to be heading there in another video, don't worry. But yeah, that's uh, Townburg. Uh, there's not really anything too surprising here, to be honest. It's when we get to Ratai that things get a little bit weird. And here you go. This is Ratai. I love pan shots of this. This place looks absolutely amazing. Someone asked me to do a video of just interesting pan shots and stuff. So yeah, expect some kind of video on that soon where I just play some Kingdom Come Deliverance music and do cool sweeps like this over amazing towns because I really do want to show you the beauty of Kingdom Come Deliverance. So just to catch everyone up right now, currently Henry is in Scalitz. Scalitz is absolutely fine. There are absolutely zero issues. Sigismund and his army have not attacked. So pray tell, why are there Scalitz refugees here? <laughs> well, that is answered quite simply. There is only one Ratai. When I first started playing this game, I imagined that Ratai had none of this. It would just be the Ratai civilians. But of course, that's not the case. What am I to do? A poor wretch whose home was burned to ashes by Sigismund's hordes. So they already have the voice lines and everything. But there's one person here who may surprise you. Hello, Kunish. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, your eyes don't deceive you. This is Kunesh, uh, who, of course, is still in Scalids. I thought that one bloody Kunesh was bad enough, but there's bloody two of them. Now, you can punch him. Uh, nothing really happens. Also, there's no interaction, annoyingly, with these characters. You all know what happened there. Help your neighbor. Oh, poor Kunesh playing the bloody innocent card. All right, you know what, Kunesh? What's going to happen right now? We're going to knock you out. But, oh, oh, hang on. Are we fighting? Oh, my God. We're fighting Kunesh's clone. Oh, God. <laughs> I did not expect this. Oh, God. We've got the law after us in a place we shouldn't even exist. Yeah, I needed to get out of there because we were literally breaking the space-time continuum. To prove to you that Kunesh is still in Skalitz, we're going to head back here uh, over this hill. And uh, go and find Kunesh, who should be still at his house. <laughs> there he is! Hey, Kunesh, how's it going? I met your twin earlier. He was great. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so I talked to Mother to get some healing, uh, and Henry's just kind of panting at her. I don't know what's happening right now. Um, could I um get out of this? I, I think I've broken it. Um, well, that's fun. I can't even pause the game. Yeah, I, I've broken Kingdom Come Deliverance. <laughs> what was I expecting? Okay, I've reloaded the game, and I'm quickly going to do something. So someone asked, how far does um, the mirror image of Kingdom Come Deliverance go? And I'm assuming it's the same size on all four corners. Um, so if I was to travel up here... Uh, and then look down. In theory, we can actually see this. From a distance, it actually looks like the real map, I suppose. The only problem is, if you look forward, it gets rid of it. Like, it disappears completely. So, for those of you asking if you can see towns and stuff, um, no. That, in theory, right there is Scalitz. And if I go down here to where Scalitz would be, it's just a, a blob. There's, there's nothing really here. This, in theory, is the incredibly low-detail version of Scalitz. So, no, there are no hidden towns or anything on this map, um, unfortunately. Okay, we're back in Ratai. Let the game load in a little bit. <laughs> this time, I'm not going to punch Kunesh in the face. 
even though I want to. So I've come up to the training ground because I had a comment from someone saying there was something underneath. They had accidentally somehow glitched the game and saw that there was a chest underneath here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel under... There you go. It does exist. Now, is this openable at all? I don't know if I'm going to be able to open this, mainly because I don't have any lockpicks. Um, is there any kind of sign that I can even open this right now? You can travel inside it. Of course, there's nothing in there. There wouldn't be. So even if I hold down A on it, there, there is absolutely no way for me to be able to go inside this chest. Now, with something like Skyrim, uh, something they do is they hide merchants' chests underneath the world. Um, like the one, I think it's in Dawnstar, does that. And there is actually one you can access uh, very slightly and you can end up getting a lot of loot. I'm guessing what this is, is that. This is basically one of Ratai's merchants' chests, where they get their stock from. But unlike Bethesda, uh, Warhorse had the insight to turn off interactability, so uh, we're not able to actually access this chest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head under Ratai, see if there's anything underneath here. Oh, hang on, what are those? We want a shrubbery! Okay, uh, great. Um, <laughs> okay, right, yeah, there's just a tree here. Uh, of course there is. What I do want to do, though, and a lot of you have asked, is Radzig already in Perkstein? Um, so if I was to come here, uh, is there anything in here? Oh, well, that's terrifying. Let the uh, lighting come back on. There's nothing under there. Is there anything inside here? Uh, no, there is a chest. Okay. No, Sir Radzig's not in here. I have seen him walk up there before, though. There he is. <laughs> That's bloody Radzig. What's he doing here? Hey, Radzig, what are you doing in here? Hey, buddy. Okay, that's really bloody interesting because, of course, right now, Radzig isn't even in Skalitz, is he? He's currently traveling with that guy, and then you end up meeting him as he comes back to Skalitz just before the attack happens. So in theory right now, there aren't two Radzigs. There is only one Radzig, but it doesn't make any difference. He shouldn't be here at this point anyway. I know if you click F10, you actually get um, the boundaries. Now, a lot of people were wondering about the boundaries of the castles and stuff, and you guys can see here, <laughs> Henry kind of just popping through right now. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Um, yeah, so this is uh, the boundary of everything. Um, so you guys can actually see where the invisible walls and stuff are. You can even see there's an invisible wall around the, uh, the fire, the camp. Um, and there, with that. I don't know why I can see Henry right now. I shouldn't be able to see him right now. That's weird. Um, now, there are these kind of red blocks kind of going around. I don't know what those are. They're very interesting, though. I don't know what they are. Also, if we come down to here, is Teresa here? Hang on, is that Teresa there? Hang on a bloody minute! She looks just like Tomb Raider in more ways than one. Um... <laughs> Oh, I thought we got past that era a while ago. Oh, well, um, that was interesting. I didn't expect that one. Oh, now, for those of you who are like, oh, I bloody hate the bushes because you can't get stuck in them. That's why. Look at this. Look how bloody big the boundary is on the bushes. Can we just find a normal bush here? We'll go and ask Teresa. I was kidding. Good God, get your head out of the gutter. Um, Right. Uh, yeah, as you guys can see, there's a massive... Invisible barrier around these uh, bushes here. God, this is so interesting. It, it looks like a completely different cave. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, so that there you have it. That's um, Ratai. We're going to be doing more videos on Ratai uh, later on in the game. <laughs> Ooh. Woohoo! <laughs> Super Henry! Do do do. I don't know why he has the A team theme, but there you go. <laughs> Why is he randomly gaining a third arm when he does that? I don't want to know, to be honest. What did this video become? I need to get some thumbnails. That's what I need to do right now. It's just polygon world. It's very fascinating, though. Let's turn this off because it is killing my frame rate right now. There you go. Um... <laughs> the more you know, eh? Anyway, as before, leave your comments down below of where you want me to go. 
uh, and we'll travel there. I just wanted to show you the um, the double Kunesh. <laughs> Kunesh's long lost twin. Uh, I think that was pretty bloody fascinating. No one expected that. So what do you guys think? Comment down below, tell me, leave a like, and also, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It will mean the world to me. Uh, but until next time, that's me out. Bye, guys.